Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Now today, I will just before we get started, I will warn you that today it might be a little bit of a um, awkward video because we forgot to film in some places. But today, what we are going to be doing is we are making a board. That's really bad. Oh, you make a board. <laughs> Enjoy. Anyway. What we're going to be doing today is we're making an advertising board for Long Acre Nursery, which is just down the road in West Hythe. Um, they said they'll be happy to advertise some of my garden featured stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Right, so I've just taped it down on one end, now on the other end. Nicely, so I can centre punch it and then it drill it on the pillar drill. Now I'm going to bring it up to here. Hang on. Bring it down. Have a look. It needs to come back a little bit. There you go. It's perfect. what we're making, I haven't put a hole in it yet. Maybe up like that. I'm gonna make a few more now. I don't know how many I've made, I've lost count. <laughs> Yes, this is the board so far. My apologies, as I said, we forgot to um, film s some of it. Because, so we've done a couple already. Um, a few keyrings, leaf keyrings, um, and a few half hanging basket brackets, all massive hooks, if you like. Didn't film making these, I don't think. Um, can't remember why, but we didn't. So here they are now, and a little fancy hook as well. Um, there's some of the stuff we're going to do. We've got a hanging basket bracket. I'm currently making just in between um, this and I'm currently also making a hanging basket bracket with a square twisty bit. Actually, I'll come and show you. I'll show you. like so far. Yes, I haven't. Well, this is what it looks like so far. Yes, I haven't done the middle bit, but I'm about to do that later. Yeah, we're going to flatten out this end so that um, drill into the wall, bend this over with the new jig that Dad made. Show you that as well. That's a bit heavy. <laughs> um, yeah. Jig. Which you can place in your anvil. Oh, right way for placing your anvil, clamp that bit of metal in, but beat it around, and then you've got a semi circular piece of steel. Which is always handy when you're trying to make a hang glass bracket. I might as well just give you a workshop tour now that I'm showing you. Right, so. Going back to this, just about to drill a hole roughly around there for the S hooks because you know they might be handy in greenhouses or sheds or wherever you might want them. Yeah, it's good to do that. Oh, and we've made very, very quickly actually 
few of these just hooks which you can hang up on there and then you can hang stuff on them. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, now we're gonna screw um what can we do there? The bar. Screw the lock nut, I believe. Yep, the lock nut. Just screw that in, so slide it through. La -de -de -la -de -da. And this goes upside down like so, so that it'll sit like this. And then you screw it on there. Actually, get it on there. <laughs> Is it a left hand thread or right hand thread? It's a standard right hand thread. See, there, I can't even do a screw. Well, I just don't know my left and right. It won't start on the nine lock. Make sure you get it the right way out. This is upside down. That's left. It's really not, I promise you. It's turning that way. Of course it is, because you're the wrong side of it, you blithering idiot. <laughs> Wait, what? If you lay down on the floor and look at it, you'll be turning it clockwise to do it up. Turning it anti-clockwise? Yes, but you're looking this side of it, you... Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah. No, that's still left. It's not. Oh, no, that's right. Yes. What? Do I really allow you in here with forges and hammers and sharp stuff? <laughs> it can't go on now. It's in, but it won't... it won't go all the way. That's why you use the spanner. The nylock is meant to stop it vibrating loose. It's a locking nut. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. <sighs> Something makes sense to you. Thank God. <sighs> that just makes it infinitely harder. Really doesn't. Does. <laughs> Comment down below if you think it should be trusted in a workshop. <laughs> Dropping spanners. I can't even manage to get a nut on a screw. In the first five minutes. Ah! And I just throw spanners at the cell. Alright, for the sake of everyone out there in YouTube, can you just hold the spanner on the nut and I'll twist the wrench at the top? Because we'll all die by the time you've done this. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, why? Why didn't you tell me that was a way to do it? That's so much easier. Well, <laughs> There you go. Oh. Took 
So you can be professional again now and say, look, here it is, done. And it only took a second or two because we'll, we'll cut all the other bits out. I'm sorry. Dufter. Three seconds it took. It did. Because I'm so mighty. No help from old man behind the camera at all. That's how good I am at this. And how much I should be trusted in a workshop. That will be it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, me being a bit of a numpty. Uh, yeah, I hope you had a bit, little bit of a laugh. Before we fit, completely round off the video, a big thank you to Sensei Amy from Karate for these. Work perfectly, open and close really nicely. Um, the story that I was given was that her dad um, uh, did or made a wagon wheel with these. Um, they're quite interesting, and he made a horse car and all that sort of stuff. That was the information I was given. Yeah, big thank you to Sensei Amy if you're watching this. Um, and yes, to round off the video, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like if you liked the video. Um, Comment what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could do better next time. Um, yeah, I hope, um, hope you had a little bit of a laugh and have a good day. Bye bye.